The Heartless. They come in all different types and sizes, they come in both pure blood and emblem varieties, and today I'm going to count down my top 5 favorite pure blood Heartless. Please remember that this is my list and my choices are based on my opinion. Now let's get started with number 5. Okay, it's hard to have a list about Heartless without including the most basic Heartless there is. The simple design of the shadow and the fact that it's the first Heartless Sora sees ever is why it's on my number 5 spot. The Darkfall is an interesting Heartless. They only make an appearance in Kingdom Hearts 1 and Chain of Memories, but are a well done Heartless. In both games, they are more common Heartless than your adventure, and they seem to be just an upgraded shadow. But they are fun to beat up, just make sure you don't get surrounded by a group of them. Thresholder is the door to the dungeon in Beast Castle that is being controlled by a Possessor, so the way you fight this boss is interesting. You have to attack it in order to weaken the Possessor's hold, and when it's weakened, you use the Relief Command on it. It's more like two mini-bosses in one fight, but the look of the boss and the way you fight it is why it's on my number 3 spot. The main reason why I like Dark Thorn is because of his appearance. The one big thing that I like is that he looks more like a demon than a Heartless. With his crazy hair and the chains all over his body, looks really sweet and why he's on my number 2 spot. Like the Darkthorn, I like the Invisibles because it has a nice appearance. With its humanoid figure, its horns that form a heart, and its tail that gives it a demonic look, the fact that it looks humanoid and has a nice looking sword is why this Heartless is number 1. Thanks for watching, and if you have any favorites that weren't on here, leave them in the comment section below. And if you liked the video, don't forget to hit that like button. I've been Antihero Sora, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.